Hello guys, so I'm really happy to be here at the Domain Summit in London uh, where I've met uh, Ayub Kehal, which is in the, as you may know, he's in the domain, Arab domain business and we just had an interesting talk about the international markets, the Arabic markets and so we just decided to do this podcast together uh, to discuss more a little bit the opportunities that uh, I know that most of you are interested in the Arabic market because they are growing so I just grabbed the opportunity to ask you a little bit a couple of questions that uh, I'm sure some of you will be interesting on the other hand yeah um, are you about so if you have some questions about monetizing websites because you know I run monetize the team for and they are I help people to make money with their websites domains and everything else we can uh, we can also get into that so I mean the first question maybe will be like to introduce uh, a little bit and tell more about what you are doing and how you end up uh, in this business okay thank you Daniel thank you so much for this kind invitation my name is Ayub Kihel I am the founder of Arab Domain Academy I have a big community of Arab domainers that are interested into uh, learning about how they can make money buying and selling domains. So mainly before starting the domain name industry, I was working also on several other uh, businesses like affiliate marketing, like uh, monetization, like AdSense, like all other uh, stuff. But when I become a full-time uh, domain investor, then I mainly work only on domain names and starting building the portfolio, which now are helping a lot of Arab uh, based in Arab countries or all over the world to make a lot of sales like every week making their sales. Well definitely that's interesting and you mentioned the fact that you've been before in affiliate marketing and monetization that's what uh, most of the users in the in the monetized info community do. Um, I'm interested in particularly why you just choose the domains name and you decided to go big and expand in this area rather than uh, you know stick with affiliate marketing in AdSense how it's uh, domaining uh, industry different and why you prefer to, to do this. All right. Well, affiliate marketing is also a good business model, but uh, I didn't find myself in it. I made some great commissions, I made some great results with several uh, companies that are related to the affiliate marketing. But for me, that stuff of always finding the traffic, uh, finding a lot of leads, uh, pin submits, leads, and uh, like doing the CPA, like everything, this business model is good, but it's not fit for me. For me, I like like uh, it's a B2B, more, more B2B like business uh, domain name industry, like big, uh, we can say big ROI, return on investment, because as I teach to my audience, you can buy a domain for just $10 and then sell it for waiting a week or less for $300, $400, $1,000. And of course, there are some other domains that you can sell it for more. So for me, I believe that this business model is great for me and uh, it will help me also to get the passive income to travel the world. This is what, what I am planning to do with the domain name industry. I understand that. And now I'm thinking, what uh, what will be, I mean, like it will be like a, just a small a crush course on domain investing. What will be like three or four tips that you'll give to people that want to invest? I mean, to start and invest in a, a domain uh, in domain names. Well, the most important thing for all domainers, rather than in Arab area or in other countries, is to spend more time learning more than buying, because at the beginning. You might think that you are the smartest one in the earth that was thinking that this domain, I am the only one who thinks that it's, uh, it has value. But it is not, because your eye will not train it to catch if this domain is good or not. So to your eyes to be trained, you need simply to learn more. And when you are learning the proper way, don't jump into buying several domains, a lot of domains take your time before buying even if you want to buy you can buy just few domains then keep it for you also you can also search for domain without buying because when you are searching for domains without buying and then you try to revise this domain after one week you might say to your to yourself why i buy this domain it happened to a lot it happened even to me at the beginning so this is one of the best tip that I give to everyone. Take your time learning and learn properly. The more time you spend in learning, the less time you will spend in making sense.
Well, definitely that's uh, that's a good advice, and that it's applicable in almost anything that you start doing. Doesn't matter if it's online or offline, because everyone does just want to jump in, put some money in, and have, hoping to make a lot of profit or to make a fortune every after night. And this is not happening. You need to to have your own path and to start learning things and see exactly what works for you, what doesn't work for you. Because if something works for somebody, it doesn't mean that if you do the exact thing, it will work for you. We are different. We see things different. We have a different background uh, and we have also obviously different information that we have access to so that's why learning something makes you uh, be better with uh, everything that we do and you, you said about you know buying domains that uh, doesn't make sense after a while as a mistake I'm curious if you can you know give me like one or two or maybe three mistakes that you've did in the beginning and definitely will be we have been valuable lesson for you so you can share with the people that will not do that mistake because obviously it's better to learn from the mistakes that other people do rather to than do it uh, than do it yourself all right one of the biggest mistakes that everyone do, especially in the beginning, is like buying trademark names. They always thinking that uh, buying a Facebook domain or other website domain will uh, make this company come to you and buy this domain. And it will never happen. And sometimes they will take the domain for you and give you a penalty just because you, you buy this domain. The second thing that all beginners need to do that they need to avoid like shooting the moon at the beginning because a lot of people are buying domain like for ten dollar and this is for one million dollar which is not happened and this is quite uh, even someone who never knows about the domain name industry they, they are thinking like this they are thinking that a domain name industry sales are happening like two million dollar three million dollars and this is true these sales are existing but not all sales are like this this is a market which means that this market it contains small sales medium sales and higher sales of course higher sales require more experience and more budget but if you are just starting out as i mentioned keep learning and then start making like reasonable prices don't shoot the moon because if you shoot the moon you will never make sales if you don't make sales you will quit so this is why i always recommend as it, any beginner to start with the outbound side which means that you buy a domain you contact buyers and sell it for like a reasonable price because if you are making sales let's say making sales uh, uh, weekly or monthly you start to believe that this business model worth your time but if you don't make any sales then you will quit and this is what happened to anyone because a lot of people started this business model and quit just because of that. So you mentioned the fact that uh, one of the biggest mistake is to try to shoot the moon and just register a domain and then uh, just put it for sale for one million dollar and actually uh, hope that thing will happen. So for me, I, I'm genuinely uh, interested to find out how do you advise a big you will advise a beginner to price their domains. I mean, obviously because after people buy a couple of domains, say they have a small portfolio, they want to put them for sale. So what's the what tips do you have for these people how should they price their domain obviously they should not put it for like a million dollars just because they hope that that domain it's a, it has this value because in the end we all know that the value of a domain it what a buyer at specific time it's willing to pay for it so how we, how we can price our domains well to be uh, to be honest at the beginning you buy a domain like for ten dollar if you succeed to sell it for like fifty dollar you're still making a profit. I don't recommend that you release it for, for $50, but just to explain to you the part that you are making profit. But there is some, some ways to value the name, but you as a beginner, try always to look for sales firstly. Make sales, then after that, after making experience, then try to give the real value for the domain name. Even if you sell it for 100, 200, 300, no problem. But for me, what I am always advising to my audience, if you are like waiting for an inbound sales, try always to list it for the, the market price. What is the market price? Which is a price between uh, $1,000 and $3,000. This is the price for most startup that can be affordable for them. Uh, they will not find it a lot of money because if you list it like for $10,000, they will think twice 
before buying, but a thousand or two thousand dollar, it is the market price for many domains. This is why I recommend you to do that. But if you are uh, looking just for sale, this is for a reasonable price because if you list it for like hundred or two hundred dollar, not only the end user will buy the domain, but also investors. If an investor comes to buy your domain, it means that you are also making profit. So always look for profit first, then get experience, and then try to list wisely your domain names. Well, definitely that that that. Uh, I mean, I, I also was very attentive to understand exactly how to price the domains, and these are good advices. Now you told me that you manage a community of people that they are in the. Uh, Arabic speaking world and they learn how to invest in domains and to profit from the from these domains so uh, if you can tell me a little bit more about uh, this community and besides that uh, what are the I don't know maybe the opportunities that the people in the Arabic world have in the international market because I suppose the domains are uh, as you told me so are sold in the international market so I like to know a little bit more about the opportunities and also the difficulties for Arabic speaking people to sell domains well for for the audience mainly they are from middle east north africa and arab people living in worldwide because there is a lot of arabs living in south korea they are in japan in, in us and everything so the goal was to build a strong community because this business model was not known before it's, uh, of course there is, there are some domain investors in the past but they don't show to the public so so for that reason, I decided that I share my knowledge so I can bring these guys, so I can make a podcast with them, so they can share their knowledge and also to build strong community and also build strong domainers. So these domainers are from my audience are now uh, proposing domains and listing domains for both sides, the Arab market and also the international market because a lot of them uh, learn English and as you know English is the language of uh, business rather in international also in Arab area so this is why uh, an opportunity for them that they learn they, they know English and Arabic it makes them find opportunities in Arab market and also in international market and some of my audience especially in North Africa they also speak French which means that they are also spending and giving more uh, opportunities in the French market. So what uh, makes the, the Arab uh, countries now, and, and, and especially now they're getting more um, complex, is the language. Some of them still struggling with English, but no problem, but no problem. A lot of them uh, try to help like with translations, with uh, AI, but the more important thing is they are trying to do their best. And of course, they are making great results. You are speaking about the opportunities when, I mean, like Arabic people that have opportunities in the Arabic world. And, you know, I, I have to, to ask you, uh, what do you think they are the opportunities for foreigners? Because there are many foreigners that uh, see the opportunities that are there in the Arabic world. So uh, can you share with us uh, some opportunities that domain investors or website investors or people that invest in online businesses, if they can find opportunities in the Arabic world and what these opportunities would be? Well, the Arab world is an emerging market, which means that if you join this, this world right now, you will make a lot of profits in the future. So in the Arab market, they are open to non-Arabic words. They are always open for businesses, for investments, for opportunities, rather in the domain name field, in affiliate marketing, the e-commerce, a lot of uh, people all over the world are doing the e-commerce in uh, Middle East, North Africa. So there is a lot of opportunities everywhere. You just need to go to get it. Uh, yeah, definitely that's something that should be looked in because the, the opportunities are there. Um, but I, I want if you if you can be a little more, more specific, I mean if you have witnessed some domains or some um, businesses that have grown or do you think that have potential, like, you know, industries or niches that you think will grow even more. And besides that, if you can also tell me if there are any specific uh, problems or difficulties for foreign investors to invest in this uh, in the Arabic world. Well, there is uh, 
in the Arab world, there is a mindset of startup that are becoming like a lifestyle for 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 a lot of of uh, countries, which means everyone are now thinking to make his own startup. Okay. Also, there is a lot of people are doing like their SaaS project, which means also a great opportunity for foreigners also to join this market. Also for Arab people that are doing their own uh, startups, uh, SaaS projects. Uh, can you repeat the last question? Uh, the last version of the question was the fact that if there are any difficulties oh. or things that people should uh, uh, know about before going to, because over, or just as you said, there are so many opportunities there that should be, uh, that, that should be. I mean, there are lucrative opportunities that should be taken into consideration. But I just want to see on the other side if there are any difficulties or maybe some tips that you can give because y you are, y you are, um, you know this industry so much. So maybe you can give us some tips how to avoid these difficulties for a foreigner. Well, every country in the Arab world has a different uh, administration things. But most of them, I can say all of them, are open to investors and uh, business owners that are not Arab. There is one thing that all business owners that are not Arab need to uh, respect is the culture of the Arab side. Like for example, things that are prohibit prohibited, that are not allowed to do, they need just to not to not offer it to, to the public, like alcohol, like pork, like these, these things. But all other things are open for it. Some of the emerging market, because you asked me about it, is the crypto. A lot of people just discovering this, the crypto and include it in their uh, ecosystem. Recently in, in Dubai, the people can now receive money and receive salary via crypto, which is great. Also the e-commerce, especially branding the e-commerce, it's also good. With affiliate marketing, some of the people don't want to struggle with importing from China and shipping the product. They are offering some kind of affiliates just for e-commerce. Like you are doing the advertisement, then uh, you will get the sale and then this company will ship the products and get to your commission so there is a lot of opportunities everywhere just people need to like educate the market once it's educated then you will get the full opportunity and that's also what i am doing i'm educating the market about the domain name industry well there are a couple of things that you have said and these guys these are some really great tips there because you know rather than uh, stick in the market where there is so much competition and it's getting difficult to generate sales and make profits you can go to to a market like this where there are opportunities everywhere and are people there that will uh, are willing to partnership with you and uh, help you make a profit together um, regarding what Ayub said about the you know respecting the culture that's that's something that I totally agree with I mean I mean if you go in a country and they have a specific culture obviously you should respect that culture you know as you know, as I know and I have witnessed it most of the Arab people are very respectful with my cul my uh, my culture and my way of doing things so it, it's about a simple principle I respect you you respect me it's very simple and that's also you know that's valuable in business you cannot do business with someone that you do not uh, uh, he doesn't feel that you respect him so it's it should be a win-win to be put it like that I, you, you, you offered some great tips about this and I'm really happy to learn so much about the Arabic world and the opportunities there uh, this is the first time when I've met you at the Domain Summit and I'm wondering are there any other conferences that you are going and maybe you can share some um, other conferences where you, where you are going what what are the plans are you to attend more conferences well I have been in Domain Days in Dubai last year and I will be also this year uh, it's the first time for me here in London, but I'm planning also to join all other uh, related, all other events related to domain in Europe, in the US, in Asia, so everywhere, just to discover uh, the market also, uh, to expand more networking with other domain investors and also business owners like you. And of course, to present the Arab community because the Arab community have a big potential it needs just to become public and this is what why I am here to represent the Arab community okay that's very nice of you you know and to 
because you, you said that you want to educate the market and also represent the Arab community and try to uh, make it popular in other regions so people can know more about uh, about uh, the way of doing business and the opportunities there. So the last question that I have, you mentioned that you have some travel traveling plans, so maybe you can share something about it because I'm really curious. For instance, I'll, I'll be inviting you here because there are a couple of affiliate marketing conferences in Europe. There is Budapest, there is Prague, there is also one in Bucharest. So there are plenty of conferences where we can join and um, you, you know maybe have some speeches there and attend to to promote the the business that you have and in the end the community that you uh, you put together. So if you may mention something about the, your future plans about traveling, because I'm I, I'm curious to find out more. Well, uh, before starting the domain name industry, I was always hoping that one day I will become a digital nomad, which I am traveling the world, and it will become passively, without any further action from me. So this is why I love the, the domain name industry, because simply uh, you can make like inbound sales, and you are traveling the world. So traveling and making sales. The only thing that you will need to do, just buy domains, list it for sale, and renew the domain that you have. It requires a little bit of digging, it requires a little bit of investing at the beginning because you are building your own portfolio, but it's worth it. I still didn't start this journey, but I'm doing it like as a part-time. I travel from time to time, but I'm traveling with the sales that I make from domain names. So maybe in the future, I will become a full-time traveler plus domainer. This is the goal that I am working on. It. Well, definitely that's a great plan because, for instance, uh, for me as I'm traveling and I've started to travel Europe and Asia a little bit, um, for me it opens so many new opportunities and traveling it helped me to understand that there are so many people and they have different cultures, they think different, they they are open to new uh, business opportunities, so expanded my horizon so much. So definitely I, uh, I say to everyone that if you want to invest in yourself, there are two things that you should do, read or get as knowledge relevant for you and for your development and the second thing is to travel because travel it's like you know reading uh, reading in real time to put it like that so basically you, you get information that you are not aware of but you'll see that after I don't know a couple of months or even less you'll start to think a little bit different and to have access to other information because you just got information from the traveling so uh, Ayub, I'm, I'm really uh, thankful because I meet you here and you share this information with us about, you know, the Arabic community and definitely you made me you, you made me feel that I, I have to check more so I'll be looking into the affiliate programs and I'll going to study the audience to understand it better and uh, look for opportunities that will be a win-win cooperation. So again, I'm, I'm thank you for, uh, for sharing the tips for, uh, for us. And I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your invitation and hope that uh, your audience also get some uh, new information, new tips and advice that helps them in the future. Thank you so much.